Good day subscribers. Today is July 11, Tuesday, and it was a wild and crazy day in the markets. Straight down, then straight back up, and we still ended up in the red just a smidge in SPY SPY. I didn't get to place a trade today. i rather conserve my money and wait for that setup to happen because I know uh, deep down from, from trading it myself and seeing it that that's uh, the way that I want to trade. I just want to trade one ETF, uh, one strategy, one setup. And that's what I want you to take away from today's video is I know how I want to trade. And I'm okay to wait for that setup to happen to present itself, guys. And I'm really careful about it as, as well. I don't want to just get into a trade just to, even though I have in the past, it's a constant struggle with me. It's something that I'm still trying to learn and develop. Uh, don't get in just for the sake of getting in. Find your setups, find your strategy, uh, buy, profit, get out, uh, rinse and repeat, guys. Find out what you want uh, out of the markets, how you see yourself trading, how you see yourself making money each and every day. You don't have to have these extravagant scanners and, and sort of strategies and setups and this and that. You really just need to hone in on one strategy that you can really repeat over and over and over and over and over again. I'm not there yet, guys. I still have a lot to develop and I have a lot to learn about my own strategy. And I, I want to get to that point, guys. So even though I didn't get to trade today, we can definitely learn each and every day. And that's what I want you to understand at home, guys. Thank you again uh, for, for watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new, hit that subscribe button down below. It would help me out tremendously. Once I get to 100 subscribers, I'll start making some tutorial videos of how I trade, what indicators I use, and how I use them to make money in the markets. Thank you so much for, for watching. Good morning, everybody. Another day, another dollar. Um, let's see. Today's agenda brought to you by Forex Factory at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Jolts, job openings, and also final wholesale inventories. And then at 12.30 Eastern Time, FOMC member uh, speaks. So you might have to wait until um, 10 o'clock Eastern Time to see a... Uh, a setup so you trade the uh, five minute chart looks topped off 15 minute chart looks uh, very good and it, it might it might be playing calls today that five minute chart does um, did look a little topped off now it's coming down a little bit um, my indicators are showing that you know this is uh, basically resetting uh, pretty nice I like it well uh, forget uh, resetting it looks like <laughs> Uh, puts might be in play uh, today, but uh, as always, we're being patient. If we can consolidate around these price levels, that'll be great. Might be a good signal. Not yet. This is looking really good here. That little move up, I do not like. Usually, it'll consolidate um, around, you know, a very tight range, and then it'll run. And here, it is moving up. Right now, just uh, staying out of the markets. Um, just waiting for a setup. Looks like the uh, markets took off here. And now, we can look for a uh, setup here. It might be possible that we see a uh, setup um, around here. I really would like to see consolidation around these price levels. Um, but the way that it really looks, it looks like we might not get it. But... Uh, Let's see what happens. Doesn't look like we'll get it. Still a possibility, but uh, it's looking weaker by the minute. So I'm sitting here watching it, and the markets, um, I don't know what caused this, this uh, fall in the markets, uh, but it's definitely making the markets move here. I didn't get in. I didn't get in. I was hoping it would stay, uh, stay up here, uh, consolidate, but wow, look at that. They're well over going to be 60 cents now. The uh, 242 puts. I was thinking about getting in around 58 cents, somewhere around there. Um, and just didn't get, get that opportunity. Wow, and it just can 
continues to fall. My goodness. I have no idea what sparked the uh, the sell-off here. Uh, it would have been very profitable <laughs> had I gotten in at 58 cents. Those uh, 242 puts that I saw at 57, 58 cents are up to 72 by 73. They're about to hit a hunt or a dollar. After I saw them at, at 90, uh, or excuse me, after I saw them at 57, 58 cents, they're at a dollar right now. And you could have been buying at 31 cents. They're up to a dollar 27 and climbing. Huge, huge guys. Dollar 34. This is crazy. Amazing guys. Wow. Well, there you have it. There was the uh, move of the day without a doubt. Um, I won't be trading. Uh, it is way too dangerous uh, to, to be trading right now after that huge sell-off. Let's see what uh, tomorrow brings. It's better to conserve your money uh, for, for a setup that you're comfortable in, in trading that you know your setup, your strategy, um, and we'll see uh, tomorrow. We'll see what happens tomorrow. My goodness, I'm looking at the uh, percentage gains for, for the day for those puts, for all the puts. The uh, 240 50 puts, they're up 158%. 241 call, or excuse me, 241 puts, they're up 142%. The 241 50 puts, up 164%. Um, 242 puts, 119%. 242 50 puts, 109%. Um, that's, um, that's the way it goes, uh, training these, uh, these options. And, uh, well, that's it for today, guys. I will uh, see you tomorrow.